Konnichiwa. Yes, so your boy and Kai. Excuse me. Back when I was a little back when I was video. And today, guys, we're doing a video on FGO Adventures channel. Learn originally, make sure about down below as always. This one's called FGO and A's. How many SQ can you save for the Lost Belt Six Banner? So first, I remember last time we did one time about saving up for Muramasa. This one is talking about basically the Lost Belt Six Banner. So I guess it's coming up this year or well next year in 2023. All right, for us in FGO and A, because we're always two years behind. So this obviously came in 2021, I'm guessing. This one's going to be in 2023 for us. But anyway, guys, so I refer to, right to it, so play. Welcome, my fellow masters. Here we are, finally, the next installment of How Many I've been SQ. Like, and this time to the we'll be coming too. up to around August of 2023. August 2023. I admit, my original intention was to get this out not long after my Muramasa SQ video. This is the one Unfortunately, we did. Unfortunately, real life just had a way of well getting in the way <laughs> at any rate i just wanted to express a simple thanks to everyone who has been patiently waiting very welcome my friend as mentioned i'll be counting sq up to around summer of next year this means the focus on the lost belt six banners and the six anniversary banner and even some stops at banners leading up to the summer lots of really good servants next year and many of the really anticipated ones in close proximity to each other it's gonna be a crazy year for new this wallet is ready <laughs> Adjustment to county. So now before we get into it, I wanted to mention that I've made a slight adjustment regarding the expected SQ for maintenance. In my previous video, I had counted five sync quartz per maintenance, and at the time, it did indeed seem like NA had been bumped up to that. The maintenance for the fifth anniversary and the summer five event both five. yielded five SQ uh -huh. as an apology for the inconvenience. However, since the summer five event, we've had two other event maintenance. One for the Oku rerun, and other just recently for the Shisho Fest. Also been down by one. But both of these only yielded four SQ, so I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be conservative with the expectation of the maintenance SQ. You want to put three or put Thus, the four? I'll only be counting oh, four. four SQ okay. per maintenance period. Better to lower the overall expectation, and then be pleasantly surprised if the five SQ maintenance shows up again. Leading up to Muramasa. Let's first start with a quick summary of what can be expected for those that are saving for Muramasa. I'm sure there are many that are hoping to roll for Muramasa and one or more of the new servants coming up around the summer of 2023. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to use a saving start date of September 4th, which would give us 120 days until the start of Muramasa's banner on January 1st. One can accumulate 179 SQ from the daily logins, 50 day total login bonuses, and completing all the weekly master missions. Not bad. Along with 17 summon tickets from the daily login streak, plus another 25 tickets from the Mana Prism Shop monthly refresh for September to January. I'm not mad at that. From the events, campaigns, and maintenance leading up to January 1st, including the current back to school campaign, 227 SQ, excluding the six quarts from the New Year's panel missions, as they won't be immediately available at the start of the banner. 2027, 26, that should be at least tickets, MP2, maybe. And again, excluding one no, ticket from the New Year's panel mission for the same reason. And then 24 SQ projected from expected server maintenance prior to the events. Just a quick note about a campaign I missed in my Muramasa video. The 2000 day anniversary, which happened in J January on JP. But these milestones tend to occur about a month earlier on NA, so I'm counting another... 10 SQ for the 2000 day campaign. That's like that two will likely happen around 39 to 49. Something similar happened for the 900 days anniversary, which occurred in January on the JP server, but in December for NA. Combining everything together would give us a conservative grand total of 430 sync quartz, 68 summon tickets oh. by January 1st. Pause. Tell me that's not enough. 430 with 68 tickets. Is that not enough to pull more mods at least get them MP3 maybe? Now your luck goes right there. That's not that's not bad at all. I don't know how much I'm at right now, but that's crazy. Even getting half of that was that. Let's see. What's that? 430 divided by two. That's 215. Then if you have that 68. So 30 34 tickets and like two something for um. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah, 215 and like 30. That's not bad at all. That's not bad. One bit. I'm not complaining about that one bit. All right, play. Please note that I'm not including any potential quartz from interludes or rank up quests added from the related campaigns. 
and I'm also not counting any speculative SQ from the Thanksgiving campaign as those have been inconsistent as far as SQ or ticket rewards from past years. So if you happen to give in to temptation on any of the banners since the previous SQ saving video, then this should at least provide you an idea of what you'll have to work with by diligently saving from this point. That was I'm not, uh, not going doing to anything else. What can be expected for St. Quartz and tickets after Muramasa? Leading up to the first Lost Belt 6 banner where Morgan and Fairy Knights Gawain and Tristan are released. For the most part, I'm just going to follow the release schedule as it occurred on JP. Until at least we get to around June. Naturally, things can unfold a little differently for NA in the grand scheme of things, so please bear that in mind. Getting out of January 2023 with your SQ intact will not exactly be an easy feat. Around early January, the Saber Wars 2 rerun is expected to be scheduled. All right. And that means the SSR Avenger Space Ishtar will be back. And only have our AP1, which is really Personally, making me upset. I think she's one of the best units in the game, and definitely an incredible AoE arts looper with Castoria. But beyond that, Space Ishtar's unique ability to change the car type of her NP gives her amazing flexibility based on what supports you may have available. That includes being able to work with Scotty or the future new Buster meta support <laughs> Man, join my brain. of light. Now, if you're someone that was focusing on this Rin face rather than actually Masa, helps out Buster. and assuming a January 6th event start date, then you will most likely have around 443 quarts and 69 tickets, including that everything is from the New Year's campaign. insane. If you spend everything on the New Year's banner, is crazy. unfortunately, there isn't just enough time to save up anything significant. But if we were to count the few daily logins from January 1st to January 20th, the assumed last day of the Saber Wars 2 rerun, you would have 17 SQ and 2 tickets from the daily logins and weekly missions. 6 SQ and 1 ticket from the New Year's panel missions. I'm going to assume the 30 SQ from the New Year's login bonus was already used up. Plus 7 SQ and 5 tickets from the event itself. Along with 4 SQ from a preparatory server okay, so he's knocking them down by combined, one that is 34 quarts and 8 tickets. And if you have Yagyu, he has a rank up released with this rerun and could provide another potential 2 quarts. Not a lot, but enough for a few YOLO pulls if you were feeling lucky. Mm, YOLO. <laughs> Expected immediately on the heels of the Saber Wars 2 rerun should be the little, little big, big tango, tango and the release of the what as a server is that. Tyra is, that, is, that a, is that a free to play server? Known as Avenger Ushi. So if you are a huge Avenger Ushi, then no doubt this is a servant you are. Is she better for. than regular Ushi, the now, rider? You have been saving since at least September fourth. Let me know in the comments. Point, is she better? And assuming an event start date of January twenty first, she look cool you though. Should have four hundred seventy two SQ and seventy seven tickets. If you're starting from scratch after Muramasa. Then using an assumed January 1st to an event last day of February 3rd, you're looking at 31 SQ and 4 tickets from daily logins and weekly missions, mm -hmm. 6 SQ and 1 ticket from the New Year's panel missions, okay. 7 SQ and 5 tickets from the Saber Wars 2 rerun, another 7 quarts and 4 tickets from the Little Big Tengu event itself, 5 more tickets from the February refresh of the Mana Prison Shop, and 8 SQ from 2 estimated server maintenance. Plus, Chinese New Year will fall on January 22nd in 2023, so NA can expect another 10 SQ from the Chinese New Year campaign around that time. That would combine to 69 St. Quartz and 18 tickets. There is another potential 4 SQ from the new rank up quest released for Ryder Ushuakamaru and Lancer Benke, if you happen to have them raised to their 4th ascension. Sometime in February, NA can expect the annual FGO user survey, which should provide four summon tickets for those the, uh, that complete the survey. The dates and then right immediately there. following the Little Big Tengu event is a Roman themed Grail Front event, A2 Brute. This particular Grail Front should occupy the first couple of weeks of February, and from it, seven summon tickets can be obtained, along with a potential four quarts from new rank ups released for the three, three star Boudica. And two star Caligula, if you want to get like new rank ascension. ups. So far, the events seem to be piled on top of each other. At least, is on that how the it quote unquote buff that the certain point. beginning with those the Valentine's 2023 event is no exception. That, assuming a start of February 10th, it will overlap with the Grail Front event. 
and the Valentine's 2023 event will be the release of the new ruler class Amor Karen or Karen Hortensia. Oh, so she's a ruler. For those Karen, here is a summary of SQ and tickets if you have been saving. Is she good? Point. Normally rulers are really good. From September 4th to February 10th, you should have a combined total of 544 44. and 99 tickets. If you manage to keep up with all of the new interludes and rank ups, then another potential 33 SQ may be available to you. If you're starting to save from January 1st, then using an assumed event last day of February 24th, 82 SQ and 7 tickets from the daily logins and weekly missions, including the first a 50 to the day fourth. total login bonus, 5 tickets from the February Mana Prism Shop refresh, 30 SQ and 21 tickets from events and campaigns, 6 quarts and 5 tickets from the Valentine's event itself, and there should be another 10 St. Quartz from the President's Day campaign NA usually has around the third week of February, plus 16 SQ from four projected server maintenance. This should total up to 144 St. Quartz and 38 tickets. 144 and 38? Mm -hmm. Perhaps overlapping somewhat with the Valentine's event would be NA's 20 million downloads campaign. I'm suggesting a potential overlap only because usually NA's download campaign tends to be around two weeks earlier than their JP counterpart. But regardless, from this downloads campaign, we can expect 10 summon tickets from a 7 day login bonus, plus new extra missions that are based on leveling any servant to thresholds ranging from level 50 uh, to level what kind of guru is talking about. and should all be retroactive. Completing all these missions would net 30 quarts. And a new rank up quest for Proto Arthur is released with his, this campaign. So another potential 2 SQ if you happen to have Arthur and raised him to his fourth ascension. Around early March, we can expect the Caldea Boys campaign and its associated event. In this case, it's called the Slapstick Museum. From clearing Solid all of the man. event main quests, seven quarts can be obtained. There will be a login bonus for the campaign that will provide six summon tickets in total, and three new rank up quests for Amakusa Shiro, OG Da Vinci, and Zheng He. So that's another potential six SQ if you have those servants and appropriately ascended. Then, around mid-March, there should be a pre-release for the next event, the Akihabara Explosion. With this pre-release, there will be a login bonus that includes three quarts and two summon tickets. For the actual Akihabara Explosion event that is expected around late March, a new SSR Berserker will be released, Galatea. For those that Galatea. are interested in targeting this new single-target arts Berserker Waifu, here is a look at the Art SQ Berserker you single target. You've been saving everything from September fourth. Yeah, he like a to Berserker. This assumed event start date is she good? Of March twenty fourth. You know, chat. Altogether, it should total six hundred eighty four quarts and one hundred thirty three tickets. If you manage to keep up with all of the new interludes and rank ups, including the new rank up for Nero Bride released with this event, then another potential forty three SQ may be available to you. And if you're just starting from January 1st, then using an assumed event last day of April 7th, 124 SQ and 13 tickets from the daily logins, total logins and weekly missions, 15 tickets from the Mana Prism Shop refresh, 86 SQ oh, you and tickets a lot from of, uh, and campaigns, tickets. 10 SQ from the Akihabara Explosion event itself. And there should also be another 10 Saint Quartz from an April Fools campaign plus 28 quarts from an estimated 7 server maintenance. This should total up to 258 St. Quartz and 72 tickets. After the Akihabara Explosion event is this Spring in Full Bloom campaign, which is effectively a summoning banner for Hokusai and Tamama no Mai. But there are also two rank ups released with this one, one for SSR Foreigner Hokusai and the other for the SR Assassin Chiome. Thus, I have her, but I do not SQ use her at all. That assassin, I never use her. And at the appropriate ascension. At the bottom. Also expected in early April is the 2100 days anniversary for NA. As mentioned before, NA typically gets these roughly a month ahead of when it occurred on JP. But it's not an exact science. So for now, I've slotted this in for early April. The part 13 of the servant rank of quest should be around mid-April. There are seven servants that get new rank of quests. Thus, a potential 14 quarts combined for those that are fortunate enough to have all of these servants and at their max ascension. 
Around late April should be the pre-release campaign from the Waltz in the Moonlight collab event. This pre-release will have a login bonus that will provide 3 SQ. Yeah, 3 SQ every time. the same time. social media retweet campaign, another 12 SQ from achieving the targets. The actual collab event, called Grail Live, should follow shortly after the pre-release. And with this collab event is the release of the unique SSR caster, Miss Crane. Miss Crane. So if you find Miss Crane's servant position swapping mechanic interesting, and have been saving everything since September 4th for her, then by April 26th, the assumed start date of the Grail Live event, you should have a total of 767 St. Quartz and 143 tickets. If you were to count all the SQ from the new interludes and rank ups thus far, nice, so that would no. be an additional 69 quartz, including 8 quartz from the 4 new rank ups that come with the Grail Live event. For this scenario of starting from January 1st and saving up until the last day of the Grail Live event, assumed to be May 10th, the SQ and ticket count would be a total of 363 SQ and 85 summon tickets. This one is more speculative since on JP, this was a pre-release campaign for the Camelot movie. So a direct counterpart on NA is difficult to predict, but it is possible it will show up as a Blu-ray commemorative campaign around the May time period. Regardless, at some point, new rank up quests for Ozymandias, Sanzang, and Bedivere will have to be released, which this original campaign had on JP. So that's a potential six quarts for those that have these servants and at max ascension. Around mid-May is the expected next Grail front event, My Super Camelot. The usual seven tickets can be obtained from clearing all of the Grail front battles. And there are two new rank up quests for SSR Lancer Artoria and SR Archer Tristan, providing a potential four SQ if you have them and at their fourth ascension. Ending May and perhaps spilling over into June that is one. the expected Summer 5 Servant Summer Camp Rerun. Got an MP5 too. A very nice 28 St. Quartz can be obtained from this event's main and side quests. And now we've come to June. This is where things can get a little tricky, as events would normally start to shift around on NA in preparation for the anniversary at the beginning of July. For the purposes of this video, I'm basically going to guess at how the event schedule will adjust to accommodate the July anniversary. So, please take this with a grain of salt, and um, bear with the liberties I take here. <laughs> the beginning of June should bring about the pre-release campaign for Lost Belt 6, Avalon Le Fay. This pre-release will have a master mission that provides 10 SQ for clearing the Hian Kyo Lost Belt. And along with the pre-release campaign, it is also a 10 SQ clear though. aid campaign to hopefully help many catch up on the story. Now this main quest clear aid campaign will start at the same time as the Lost Belt 6 pre-release, but it will run for much longer lasting until around mid-August. There will be four sets of limited master missions providing a number of SQ, and each have staggered start dates within the campaign. Parts 1 and 2 should be within June, one, two, each providing three, 12 four, SQ. Five, six, seven, Parts eight, 3 and nine, 4 seven, would be in July and provide 12, 12 and 14 SQ. 12 SQ, that's not bad. The timing of these master missions will come into play when looking at the banners in June and July. Again, this is under the assumption that the release schedule of these particular master missions is similar to how it happened on JP. Then we finally come to the actual release of Lost Belt 6 mm, in early I'm mid June. Tired. Interestingly, Avalon Le Fay was released in three parts in JP over the course of June, July, and August. So with this part one release, the very first banner of Lost Belt 6 will feature the five star berserker Morgan, along with the four stars Fairy Knights Gawain and Tristan. I know that many will be diligently saving for Morgan, as she was one of the most requested servants to be covered for saving SQ. And personally, she's probably my most anticipated servant of next year. Yeah, I heard Morgan's really good. Said, if you have been saving since September 4th up to this point, which we will assume a banner start date of June 11th, 430 SQ and 40 tickets from daily logins. That's and total definitely logins not bad. And weekly uh, missions. Do you need the MP like five? Tickets from monthly do you guys need the MP5? Four hundred eight SQ no. and yes eight no. tickets from events and campaigns up to this point, plus twelve more SQ from the part one of the limited master missions from the main quest clear aid campaign, sixty eight SQ from a projected seventeen server maintenance, and originally there was a live stream just prior to the release of LB six part one, and a retweet campaign that provided twelve SQ, so I'm going to assume the same. This brings about a total of nine hundred thirty quarts. And 970 summon tickets. Sheesh. 
A potential 81 SQ could be included if you were able to complete all of the released interludes and rank ups up to this point. If you were to start from zero from January 1st after rolling for Muramasa and saving up to the last day of Morgan's Manor, which will soon to be June 25th, then you could have 265 SQ and 25 tickets from daily logins, total logins, and weekly missions. 25 tickets from monthly Mana Prism Shop refreshes, 181 SQ and 54 tickets from events and campaigns, another 24 SQ from parts 1 and 2 of the limited master Bro, it's a crap ton of SQ that's campaign. just are all around. You just like, SQ from an get it. It's just there. Maintenance. Like, it's just there for us. SQ from clearing all of the main story of Avalon Le Fay, part 1, according to the FGO event compendium. Your total count for this scenario is more necessary to pull it off for three sync well, later this and year? 104 tickets. Now, it should be noted there is expected to be a second banner around this part one Lost Belt six release featuring Castoria, you know, just to make things a little bit more complicated. Interestingly, Morgan's banner will get another run during an Avalon Le Fay conclusion campaign slated to. I don't think I August. need another uh, following Lost Castoria. Belt six part one should be interlude campaign 16. Notably, there are four interludes that provide SQ, thus a potential for SQ if you have the indicated servants and at their appropriate bond level and ascension. It is at this point where I'm going to guess at how things will shuffle. Grand Neurofest was supposed to start at the very end of June and run until mid-July. At least that's how it was on JP. However, with NA's anniversary being at the very beginning of July, then I can oh, see Grand June, Neurofest being pushed June 30th to the anniversary. 14th. In fact, June 25th to the 2nd, that's when Chester comes back around. Where these fest type tournament water events to usually occur. Damn, June and July so is kind of stacked, ain't it? Price, that brings us to the commemorative campaign for the 6th anniversary, which should precede the actual anniversary by a week or so. So I'm thinking this will be during the very last week of June, likely overlapping with the interlude campaign. It will have a series of memorial quests that will provide several reward seven items, including six. up to seven summoning tickets. And something that was interesting when this commemorative campaign ran on JP were the six live streams over six days, each with their own retweet campaigns that provided 12 SQ per live stream, mm. a combined total of 72 quarts. Now, I have no idea if a series of live streams will be attempted for NA during this campaign, but considering the significant amount of SQ, I would hope they figure out a way to distribute an equivalent quantity. For now, I'm going to be conservative and put these 72 SQ under my speculative quartz, along with those from the rank ups. Now we come to the 6th anniversary for NA at the beginning of July. Okay. And with that comes the release of the 5 star assassin Koyan Sky of Light, the new Buster meta hybrid support unit. Buster and with hybrid. Her introduction, it becomes possible support. for a number of Buster servants must be to uh, three turn necessary NP go to pool. So no doubt many are looking forward to her, including me. <laughs> First off, let's take a look at the SQ we can reasonably look forward to with this anniversary campaign. As usual, there was a live stream with its own retweet campaign. Assuming this occurs similarly in NA, we can expect at least 72 SQ from this. 12 SQ from the original retweet campaign announcement, followed by a multiplying factor of 6 for the anniversary when the goals are achieved. Hmm. On JP, there was also 84 SQ that came from challenges that so were about logging in on July you're gonna get 72 a similar thing happened for the fifth anniversary where there was 30 SQ given for a Gilgamesh challenge now NA didn't get any sort of challenge nor a reward but there was an equivalent 30 SQ provided by a special app release bonus which was unique to NA so I suspect something similar will happen for that 84 SQ from the JP 6th anniversary live stream and we will get an equivalent by mm. some other means and then there are the new extra missions. From these, I'm only going to count the 20 SQ from clearing Olympus and Hian Kyo, and the 20 SQ from clearing 210 and 220 That's 40. main story free That's quests. 40 right there. These are reasonably achievable. The new strengthening quests and interlude completion missions are quite difficult for the majority of players, players to achieve. But keep in mind these extra missions are permanent, so perhaps eventually the SQ from those particular missions can be claimed. On the topic of interludes, starting with the 6th anniversary, the quartz reward for clearing an interlude will be Double. raised from 1 to 2. This will be retroactive, so any completed interludes with an SQ reward 
should immediately provide the additional SQ. A maximum of 138 sync quartz can be obtained from clearing all the interludes. But that is in the realm of the longtime whales. Okay. And it's hard to factor in this SQ regardless, since every account is different. So while I won't be including this SQ in the conservative or speculative accounts, just know that if you have completed some interludes, there will be some additional SQ incoming. As usual during an anniversary is the release of another round of strengthening or rank up quests. This time though, there will be 14 all that, all of them, the um, uh, so SQ cards. 28 SQ for those lucky enough to have all these servants. I'm not SQ card. uh, servant card tripping. There will be a consecutive login bonus that culminates with 10 summon tickets, which is fairly normal. Another 10 well, tickets from the special album. anniversary Mana Prism shop items. Again, fairly normal. And lastly, there is the Coin Sky of Light trial quest, which provides Coin one Sky? summon ticket. Coin all in Sky, all, yeah. the Coin of this Sky, yeah. okay, you yeah. can look forward to at least 196 Saint Quartz and 21 tickets. Now, for those that have been strictly saving for Coin Sky of Light since September 4th, and assuming a banner start date of July 3rd next year, you should have 482 SQ and 43 tickets from daily logins, total logins, and weekly missions. 55 tickets from monthly so what coin is Shia? Refreshes. Do you need her as MP1 or do you need a higher? SQ and 108 tickets from events and campaigns. 72 SQ from a projected 18 server maintenance, which brings this scenario's total to 1,211 1, and 206 no way you summon don't pull tickets the unit you want to with use that. for summoning Koi and Sky of Light, Just the including alone. the 6th anniversary goodies. A potential 85 quartz could be included if you were able to complete all of the newly released interludes and rank ups up to this point, but excluding the 6th anniversary rank ups since those would take several days to all release. And if we're lucky, then another potential 72 quartz from the anniversary countdown campaign retweet rewards will be available. Scenario 2, starting from zero after rolling for Muramasa, January 1st to July 3rd, then the amount saved, including the expected rewards from the 6th anniversary, 51, is 751 SQ and 138 tickets. So you really going to be making the killing around this time. I'm you also saved. going to include a scenario 3. Starting from 0 for after rolling for Morgan, saving from June 11th to July 17th, which is my assumed last day of the Coin Sky banner, you will have 36 SQ, 5 tickets from daily logins, etc. 5 tickets from the July Mana Prism shop. 247 SQ, 28 tickets from events and campaigns. And included in this are the SQ from the Lost Belt 6 Part 1, the 6th anniversary, and sometime early July, I expect a 2200 days anniversary with a 10 SQ bonus. And also included is 12 SQ from the main quest Clear Aid Campaign Part 3 Limited Master Mission. And lastly, 4 SQ from the server maintenance. This scenario three combines to a, to a total of two almost two ninety Saint Quartz and thirty eight summon tickets. I think like if we, we have like about and rank three fifty or higher good to like full uni you want. Then I another think. potential thirty four SQ could be counted. And of course there is the seventy two like Saint Quartz the from the countdown campaign that we all hope for. From the sixth anniversary, if things were to progress as they did on JP for the rest of July, then the Avalon Le Fay Lost Bell Part Two should come around mid July. And with it, the Fairy Knight Lancelot and Percival banner. Again, servants I'm sure many are looking forward to. For this scenario, one crowd, strictly saving since September 4th up to this point. So that's Lancelot as a female? Of July as 14th, like a woman? Things should look like this. 491 St. Quartz and 44 tickets from daily logins, total logins and weekly missions. 55 tickets from Mana Prism Shop refreshes. 679 SQ and 108 tickets from events and campaigns. Plus... 76 SQ from estimated server maintenance, totaling 1,246 Saint Quartz. Sir, might be good if he's highlighting the server right here, though. The account from Scenario 2, where you're saving from scratch starting from January 1st to July 14th, we're looking at a combined 786 Saint Quartz and 139 tickets. As for a Scenario 3, well, there just isn't a lot of time between in between the anniversary between Queen and Sky and Sky Sky and Fairy Knight Lancelot. Yes, but if you were like, to assume that everything you know, was spent on the first day yeah, of yeah. the anniversary for Queen and Sky, uh, then a saving from July 3rd to a presumed banner end date of July 28th, you could scrounge up 
23 SQ and three tickets from daily logins and weekly missions. Yeah, but you'll look real 10 good. 10 SQ just from the expected 2200 days and bonus. 33? 26 from the Part 3 and Part 4 unlimited master missions of the main quest clear aid campaign. 59? Plus 33 SQ from the main quests of Avalon Le Fay Part 2, according to the FGO event compendium. And 4 quartz from the presumed maintenance for LB6 Part 2. This would combine to a modest 96 St. Quartz and 3 tickets for the short time frame scenario. Lastly, we have the Avalon Le Fay conclusion campaign. And if it were to still follow the JP schedule pattern, conclusion. then this would come around early to mid-August. And with this comes the Oberon banner, who is the game's first pretender class servant, and one that really... Damn, we get a first pretender in 2023? With his ability to... Oh, especially in August 2023? That's up crazy. Up and greatly boost any NP damage up buffs. If you had your heart set on Oberon and have been saving since at least September 4th up to this point, which I'll assume a banner start date of August 4th, then your reserve should be 512 St. Quartz oh, that's not and 47 bad. tickets from Daily The poem, that's not bad. Oberon, that's not bad. Missions. 60 tickets from September to that's August super nice. Mana Prism Shop refreshes, 738 SQ and 108 tickets from events and campaigns, including 12 SQ from this LB6 Conclusion Campaign's limited ma master mission. 80 SQ from a projected 20 server maintenance. Giving this scenario one a total of 1,330 Bro, do y'all see, 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 see that number? 1,330? Scenario 2 of saving from January 1st to August 4th would look as follows. 900 St. Quartz and... That's still nothing to sniff at. Bro, 900, 147? For scenario 3, I'm going to do this a bit differently and use the premise of prioritizing meta supports. So I'm assuming everything was spent on Koyan Skaya on the first day of the 6th anniversary. And now the goal is to save as much as possible for Oberon. With that said, saving from July 3rd to an assumed banner end date of... 3rd to the 18th. There should be 44 SQ and 6 tickets from daily logins and weekly missions. Mm -hmm. 5 tickets from the August Mana Prism Shop. Okay. 81 SQ from events and campaigns. For Cope, yes sir. Plus a new Master Aid campaign that provides 3 SQ and 1 ticket from limited Master Missions. And then 4 SQ from 1 server maintenance. So this would total 132 quartz and 12 tickets to try and snag yourself an Oberon. <laughs> and that's where we'll stop for this edition of How Many SQ. Please keep in mind there will be times when yes, certain campaigns may not provide the same amount of SQ for NA that had originally been distributed on JP. Okay. There is also the possibility that events and campaigns can be shuffled around. Case in point is the June through August time period where shuffles are inevitable due to NA's anniversary occurring in July. Oh, this gotcha. This would naturally so affect kinda, SQ availability so just before up a particular scheduling. Banner. These SQ July. count videos are here to provide a snapshot of scenarios given what is currently known and can be reasonably inferred. As I eventually update these SQ videos, the closer we come to certain banners, new and more accurate mm. information will be included. So... 2023 seems pretty jam-packed with tempting banners. Right. Especially when all of the Avalon Le Fay servants come around, plus Coin Sky of Light during the 6th anniversary. So many servants to roll for, but just not hey. quite enough SQ to cover them all. We have a <laughs> lot to do. Please let me know in the comments with which 2023 servants you will be targeting. Personally, for my alternate account, I've decided to mainly focus on Coin Sky of Light and Oberon. Okay. Though, I may still try to nab myself a space Ishtar as well. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to end it off right I there, guys. How many SQ can you save for the Lost Bell 6? Banners, like I said, FGL channel be issued right down below. So, guys, based off all this right here, what we're seeing with the screenshots of, like, the banners and everything like that. And on top of that, like, seeing like you got Lancelot, you got Obi-Wan, you got Queen and Skya, you got Space Ishtar. Uh, Fairy Knight, Gawain, uh, Morgan. Uh, who are you guys most excited to pull for after the more monster banner on January the 1st? Who are you guys looking forward to pulling for? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, guys, so without further ado, one cog, I'm out. Here